Hello everyone, my name is Anton and let's speak about Metis Accelera. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this video for a long time. This board has been available on the market for just a couple of months, but you probably heard a lot of hype about it over the past few years as Accelera AI showcased it at various exhibitions and conferences. And now this board is finally in the hands of developers, so let's dive in and check out what it really can. And let's start maybe from documentation, official documentation. And let's look at the performance. It's where Matisse M2 is really shines. Accelera claims uh, 214 tops, which is definitely much more than Hala, like 10 times faster than Hala 8, 4 times faster than Qualcomm RB3. It's almost the same as NVIDIA Jetson. And if we will look on M2 boards, definitely like Kneron and Google Coral, it's like old age nowadays. Yes, there are like Hala and Deep X, which are like uh, 20 tops. And of course, it's like CMAI, which also it's slow. formally is slower. But in terms of raw performance, uh, like Metis is one of the fastest. Is this performance real? Actually, it's a good question. If we will check like speed of inference of specific models with Accelera and Hala, difference will be not so dramatic, maybe two or three times. If uh, we will infer this network ourselves for Hala, they will probably be a little bit slower because if you have a Python inference, if you're preparing images, then this pre and post processing definitely eating something. And for uh, Accelera, you just can't run it incorrectly because of pipelines. And we will return to this a little bit uh, later. So in terms of real performance for your models, definitely Accelera right now it's maybe fastest chip with M2 architecture, but I don't think that it's like totally dramatical to speed and different. So let's speak about this different approach in architecture. As you know, if you're working with Jetson, Halo, Rock Chip, NXP, and all other boards that have been on my channel, usually the workflow is something like this: train a model in PyTorch or TensorFlow, convert it to NX or another supported format, deploy the model directly on the more on the board for inference, or export this in specific format for this board. Straightforward. However, for Accelera, it's not like this. Yes, you can try to run like direct model inference, but it's quite limited. Uh, their official documentation providing one single example, and I couldn't get it to run because it's not enough information like how I should prepare my model and so on. So I just go through a few hypotheses. Uh, I even tried using like Explore Voyager SDK with different uh, GPT models, uh, but still didn't manage like a working pipeline for custom models where I can just use this as on an X runtime on Tensor T runtime. So, prob so probably it's possible, but I didn't have enough time to run this. And definitely it's not something that like easily accessible, like when you start in your development. What Accelera propose? They propose pipelines. It's basically the same pipelines that you saw in NVIDIA Deepstream or GStreamer, or there was something from Hala. I don't remember exactly. So you build a pipeline where multiply mm, predefined models and tasks are connected together with pre-processing, post-processing, 
some specific um, preparations, some decoding and coding, and so on. And actually, it's work quite well if you have just like one plain model that you need to infer. Object detection, basic classification tasks. So if you have a lot of cameras of your of e or if you need like to proceed one high speed camera accelerator definitely it's a nice platform with this pipeline architecture. But for more advanced or custom scenarios like some complex license place recognition, uh, multi stage processing or non standard architecture, the pipeline system feel too restrictive. Like, it's hard to run such pipeline system for um, multi-algorithm vehicle analytics. Some robotics where you need to run a lot of models or use complex models or use like sets of models and uh, maintain them. Some drones maybe as well. And it's definitely one of the point of limitation of Accelera. Model expert. Here we have another limitation of this board. Accelera provides a deploy tool for model preparation, but it's in, in, in my experience, it's not super user friendly. It's often lack some clear error messages. Most of Model site tested uh, didn't export successfully. Usually, according to my experience, it's possible to export models in similar situations, like switch some layers, retrain models, and so on and so on. But definitely, it's not like out of the box experience that I used to. It's worse than Hala, worse than TensorRT, and uh, different. Uh, what I tried, I tried like Dama Yola, which in my opinion, one of the best detection model uh, with a permissive license. I tried Dyna V2, which is also nice sprint trained model, which I want to infer. I tried few depth estimation model and with them, I didn't even reach like this expert part because for them it's required to rewrite all this pipeline logic and it's really hard to benchmark model and understand if it's possible to run this. So what is working good? Uh, classical YOLO models, YOLO v5, YOLO v8, YOLO v9. The main problem is that all these models, uh, they are GPL3 or RGPL3 license, which is limiting like for a lot of companies, it's unacceptable. So speaking of open source models, it's just a few classification model, YOLO X model, and I think that's all. So definitely this platform is capable of running some models on it, but uh, I think that it's not just really developed but now, uh, for example, with Halo was the same situation. At the beginning, there was just a few models. So I expect that in a few years, they append support much for much more models. So maybe they will recommend some models that are easy to run. And they have this perspective. For example, um, I found one video where they show in like LLM models inference or Matisse. And there is no examples about this in their framework. Also, one year ago, I chatted with them on a conference, uh, Embedded World. Uh, and they also told me that on hardware le level, they support much more than on software level. And maybe it's like the main issue because they create a pretty complex pipeline logic on top of this infrastructure. So maybe if they will open this low level development, it make life easier. But I don't know if it's their plans. The other issue complexity that I saw, it's uh, hardware compatibility. Definitely it's like not plug and play. 
uh, except if you choose the right platform, of course. We tested a few different frameworks. IMD, it's regular IMD PC and it didn't work. Um, I had the same issue they have on their site, but nothing helped me. Also, we checked NVIDIA Jetson and uh, uh, Metis M2 was not detected. But when we took like one of the final Intel PC, everything finally worked. Uh, you can't expect that it will, will work with any board. For example, when I tested my Hala, I tested it with 10 different boards. Everything was working. Here, it's not like this. Maybe it's because PCI Express 0.4 compatibility. Maybe there are some other issues, but uh, definitely this platform is a little bit limited right now. Speaking of energy consumption, everything is pretty close to what they promised. For most of our experiments, uh, our energy consumption for Intel uh, PC like was raised maybe on 15 watt during the inference. So it's pretty low and definitely it's much more energy efficient than TPU, GPU, and it's pretty compatible with a lot of boards I previously mentioned. So energy consumption is definitely a strong point. So final thoughts, what's the verdict? In, in my opinion, it's definitely a nice performance. It's unique uh, like form factor M2, which can accelerate your existing platforms. And for this specific form factor, it's definitely like most performance board on the market. On the other hand, um, immature software stack yet maybe like not the great documentation around the stack uh, maybe this is the issue uh, limited support for custom models and it's like correlated with this immaturity of the software stack and some hardware limitation with uh, with different pcs so if you build in something simple which should be performant which should proceed a lot of cameras Metis M2 is definitely a great option right now. But if your project involves some state-of-the-art models, I recommend to wait a little bit. Give Accelera some time to improve their software and documentation. Hopefully in a few months or years, this platform will be much more robust. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Definitely Accelera is a nice board that gives us some new perspective at this point. Uh, definitely I will like look closer and maybe experiment a little bit later. So don't forget to subscribe and I see you in the next one.